Hi guys, thank you for coming back. So today I want to talk to you about the craving of sugar, the addiction of sugar. Are you craving sugar? See, are you addicted to sugar? You know what? Um, today I'm going to tell you how to break that habit. Um, it worked for me and I really didn't know exactly what was happening until I started doing some research and all of a sudden I got an aha moment like, whoa, this is really what happened. They're like, I just got to share it with you guys because a lot of us are craving this right here, this sugar and everything. We're craving it. So coming right up, I'm going to tell you how to kick that habit with sugar. Come right up. Hi guys, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you coming back, checking me out every Monday. I appreciate that. And if it's your first time, hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, thank you for returning. I appreciate you. Thank you for returning and watching me every Monday. I put up a video every Monday, so please continue to join me. I appreciate you. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, craving for sugar. We all go through this craving for sugar. You may say, oh, the sugar, I mean, the uh, cookies in the pantry is calling my name. The ice cream in the freezer is calling my name. So, you know, I, you know, it, it's just amazing how it just sometimes just take control. You just, no matter what you do, you always want to go back and say, dang, I got to go ahead and get that ice cream. I have to go get whatever you like that's full of sugar. So today we're going to talk about it, okay? So for one thing, sugar is an instant gratification. It makes you just happy, instant happy okay and and what it does is release the dopamine in your brain known as a feel-good transmitter and um the brain releases it when you feel that craving and um feeling the pleasure of the satisfaction as part of the reward system so it's pretty much um the brain releases the dopamine you know when you crave sugar you know <laughs> or anything pleasure anything that makes you feel good pretty much but today we're just going to focus on the sugar so you know sugar sugar is uh is, is really bad for you it's got a lot of bad additives and stuff in it and i'm going to tell you some of the bad additives that they have in it and I also tell you the the uh bad cereal some of the cereal that's not really good too that's very unhealthy for you so here it is guys are you ready now, what you got to do, and this is what I did, not knowing this really was helping me until I did the research on it. So the first thing you got to do is take the sugar out of your breakfast. If you have creamer, sugary creamer, or, or sweet creamer, or donuts, jam, or jelly, or, or some kind of sugary cereal, you wake up that beast, you wake up that monster and you wanna crave sugar all day long, all day long. So not even knowing exactly what was going on, you know, a few times I ran out of uh, creamer and I noticed, you know, I just had, you know, just coffee with just a little bit of creamer in it. You know, I didn't even really had a, a lot. But you know, I noticed how I didn't really crave sugar that day. I didn't crave that ice cream and I didn't crave um, that uh, those uh, donuts or, I never really craved donuts, but cookies was my thing. Ice cream and cookies, I didn't really crave those, those cookies. So I noticed that. And then, you know, one time I was like, okay, well this is what I'm gonna do. I did some research and I found out that this pretty much is true. I said, okay, now I'm going to try it. I'm just going to cut the sugar out. I'm not going to have any uh, sugary uh, creamer or anything like that. I'm not a fan of uh, donuts and, uh, uh, you know, even jelly and on toast or nothing like that in the morning. But my thing was, is that nice sugary creamer. And, and sometimes I would eat cereal too in the morning with a banana. So I cut all that out a few times just to see if this really was happening. And yeah, I did not even crave sugar in the morning. I mean, I didn't even crave sugar all day long. I went all day long without really saying, you know, those cookies is calling my name or the ice cream is calling my name. I went all day 
without it. And I did it a few times, and you know, that really would happen. So what you gotta do to combat that sugar craving that you have, you have to cut the sugar out in the morning. Just try it. Don't have creamer in your coffee. Don't have uh, donuts or any kind of pastry or any type of jam or jelly. And some of you probably said, oh, I can't do this. It's got to be hard. You know, try it. Try it for 10 days. And normally when you do stuff like that in repetition, it, the, the craving will go away. You know, because you're really doing something that's unfamiliar. Because you're used to familiar, you're doing something unfamiliar. So it's going to be kind of like weird and really bad in the beginning. But just stick with it. And then you'll see how you will kick that sugar craving that we uh, that we had. And that's what I did. I took the creamer out of my coffee. And I don't even crave cookies. I can go in the store now and pass cookies up without even buying them. And my daughter be saying, oh, are you going to get these cookies? Are you going to get this? And I said, no, no, I have control now. I, can, I don't have to get the cookies. And even ice cream. Good and organic ice cream. I did transfer it over to organic. And I don't even really uh, eat the ice cream. And so it's okay to do it sometime. I'm not saying take it out completely. It's okay. But right now, you want to try to kick the habit of having sugar all day long, like chocolate or candy bars, cookies, donuts, or whatever you are struggling with that's. Uh, it's sugar and like my thing was ice cream. That's what I always struggle with ice cream and cookies And that's what I did. I took the creamer out of my coffee in the morning. I took the sweets out of my uh, Breakfast in the morning and then I was able to go all day without craving for any kind of sugar any type of uh, cookies or Candy bar or anything like that So yeah, just try it try it and now um, I'm going to go with some of these uh, ingredients that they do have on the back of uh, products, you know. I always read the ingredients. Don't look at the label because the labels be like, okay, all these flashy things like, oh, boom, this feel, this is great. Your taste has got the first taste here and all that. So your mind go, oh, burst. Oh, it's good. Yeah, oh, let me try it. So you're going to have to start looking at the ingredients, not what you see on the label. Look at the ingredients. So, some of the additives that they have, you may see um, this has so much sugar, and then it, down below it had additive sugar, maybe another 28 whopping sugar additives. So, this is what you need to look out for. So, evaporate cane juice, okay, lactose, maltose, maltose fructose, dextrose, okay, anything that be ends with O. O's is sugar. So that's the way to remember. Anything that ends with O's is sugar. Lactose, maltose, fructose, dextrose. And I'm not naming them all, but that's just some of them. But anything that ends with O's uh, is sugar. And then you may see uh, maltodextrin. That's another thing. Nothing but sugar. Maltodextrin. Pure sugar. So you want to see the added sugar. So it's on every label. So let's try to just look at the uh, ingredients instead of just focusing on that label when you see something like boom burst and stuff like that that'll get your tinkin tension and pull it away from actually exactly what's in it so those are pretty much bad bad sugars for you bad sugars so to also to try to keep keep that uh sugar craving too you can uh, eat a pickle like if you're craving for uh, sugar, eat a pickle or some olives that'll take that sugar craving from you. So when you feel like, oh, those cookies calling my name, the ice cream is calling my name, or those donuts are calling my name, you know, you can change it. Just go ahead and try to eat a pickle. It'll take that craving away. And you know, sugar is our enemy. It's totally our enemy. It causes a whole lot of health issues. So, yeah, just make sure that you look out for these additives because it's a lot of additives and they, they know, they know that people don't really pay attention to that. So let's try to start reading the ingredients. So I'm going to tell you some cereal that unhealthy for you too. 
that um, I did some research on, and there's some cereal that you need to look out for. And there's one or two on here that I was like, I was really, well actually one, that I was really uh, surprised that it had loaded sugar, but it's also had that added sugar. Well, we need to look out for it. So um, the first one we have is this old school honey smacks. They call it honey smack with the frog on it. Yes, yeah, loaded with sugar, loaded with sugar. And then you have tricks. And they even have those Oreos cereal. Oreo cereal, you know, you like Oreo cookies, but Oreo cereals loaded with sugar. And then you have the Cocoa Krispies, the Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops is loaded with sugar and the added sugar as well. And then you have the Raisin Bran. And this is one I was kind of surprised of, the Raisin Bran. Because you know you have the raisins and then you have uh, you know the the brand and it's like I didn't I didn't I was surprised about raisin brand but yeah I did some research and that's a pretty much an unhealthy cereal as well so and fruited pebbles and cocoa pebbles fruited pebbles and cocoa pebbles and then lucky charms now I did a video on lucky charms you have got to go back and look at my video on lucky charms I really dig down and pull out everything and really show you exactly what's in that lucky charms and there's a lot of it in the stores right now it's cheaper than everything else you know so go look at my video on lucky charms i think it's the bad additives or something in lucky charms yeah just go down my playlist you'll find i got a big old picture of lucky charms on the on the uh on the cover page of my video so frosted flakes too frosted flakes i mean pretty much no frosted flakes is covered with sugar so when you open up the bag that's what you smell nothing but sugar and you even look in the bag and there's nothing but sugar all over the flakes so i wasn't surprised about frosted flakes but that's uh another one that's really not good for you so you don't want to try to eat that cereal as well so let it go don't eat it choose something else so let me just break it down to you again guys what you want to do to come back that sugar, come back that sugar, is to not eat sugar in the morning. Try it. Do something else. You know, maybe uh, make your coffee without the creamer. Try it in 10 days, and you probably start liking because you're making the unfamiliar familiar. Okay? you start liking it try it for 10 days maybe 15 and see what happens so you want to do that also another good thing I, I talked about today is if you have a craving for sugar eat a pickle eat a pickle or olives that would take that sugar craving away anything kind of like salty it'll take that sugar away so you won't be saying all those uh, cookies are calling my name, those uh, Oreos are calling my name, the ice cream is calling my name. And it's kind of funny, you know, you don't ever hear people say, oh my goodness, those carrots, it's calling my name in the refrigerator. Those carrots or those apples are calling my name. And I like apples though, I really do. I like apples. But you don't say those apples are calling my name or those carrots are calling my name. <laughs> so. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you find some value of this video and share it because maybe somebody out there too that don't know that this um, sugar is a, people know it's an enemy, it's not good for you, but if you cut it out in the morning that you can probably stop that craving for sugar. And you know, that's what happened to me. Like I said, I didn't even know it was going on, but that's what happened to me. And I wanted to share it with you. So leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. I always answer everyone who leaves a comment. I read every last one of them. And um, let me know if you're gonna try it. You may not be even uh, addicted to sugar. And if you're not, if you're not, you don't crave sugar, you don't crave uh, donuts, chocolate, um, cookies, ice cream, good for you. Good for you good for you because there's a lot of us out there who do and I was one of them until I found out how it works I cut out the sugar in the morning and it's okay 
you know, it's okay to eat some some sweets here and there, you know, but it's sugar is our our enemy. Sugar is the enemy. It causes a whole lot of health issues. So if that can, if you can just start there, just start, just try it, and see what happens. I kicked it. I kicked it. I don't crave it like I used to. I don't. No cookies, no ice cream. And actually, I like my uh, coffee. I do. And I sometimes I put just a little bit of cream on, just a little bit, not much like I used to. I used to go like, mm. you know, and then I just love that sweet, creamy uh, coffee, but not anymore. So anyway, I hope you like my video. Hope you got something valuable out of this. Please share, like, and subscribe. I appreciate you coming back, okay? And you guys have a blessed week. Peace out.